Hey tech warriors, welcome back. Today we're diving into something that's about to change everything in our industry. Quantum computing. This isn't just theoretical anymore. It's real technology that Silicon Valley giants are racing to develop right now. NVIDIA just hosted its first ever Quantum Day at GTC 2025, and the announcements were mind-blowing. Let's break down what quantum computing means for our digital future. The Quantum Gold Rush. Big tech is in an all-out race. Amazon, Google, and Microsoft have all announced their quantum chips in recent months. NVIDIA is actively advancing quantum computing through their CUDA Q platform and strategic industry partnerships. IBM and Intel are deep in development. Specialized quantum companies like D-Wave, IonQ, and Regetti are pushing boundaries we never thought possible. These tech leaders aren't just dabbling, they're investing billions. Why? Because quantum computing promises to solve problems our current computers can't touch, even with all their power. We're talking about calculations that would take today's supercomputers thousands of years, completed in just minutes or hours with quantum machines. That kind of processing power could revolutionize everything from drug discovery to materials science, financial modeling, climate prediction, and so much more. Bits versus qubits explained. But what makes quantum computing so revolutionary? Let me break it down for you in a way that actually makes sense. Your devices, whether it's your laptop, your gaming rig, or your phone, use bits, simple ones and zeros, as their basic units of information. Even the most complex programs run on these binary digits. Modern processors pack billions of transistors, tiny switches that represent these ones and zeros. Apple's M4 chips have 28 billion, while NVIDIA's Blackwell chips contain a mind-boggling 208 billion transistors. But quantum computers operate on a completely different principle. Instead of bits, they use quantum bits, or qubits. Thanks to a quantum property called superposition, a qubit can be one, zero, or any combination of both at the same time. Think of it like a spinning coin. It's not just heads or tails, it's both until you stop it. And if that wasn't weird enough, Qubits can also link together through entanglement, meaning one qubit instantly affects another, no matter how far apart they are. Einstein called this spooky action at a distance. It's these quantum properties that give quantum computers their exponential advantage. The Quantum Hardware Challenge Those golden chandelier-like machines you've seen in the news, they're not just for show. Many quantum computers need to operate at temperatures near absolute zero, colder than deep space. These massive structures are mainly cooling systems designed to keep qubits in their delicate quantum states. Quantum computers come in different designs, superconducting systems, what Google and IBM primarily use, trapped ion systems, like IonQ's approach, photonic quantum computers using light particles, silicon-based quantum dots. Each approach has advantages and challenges, but they all face one critical issue, quantum errors. The error problem. Qubits are incredibly fragile. Even a single atom can throw off a qubit and cause it to lose information. Currently, quantum systems experience an error roughly every 300 operations. But to be truly useful, they need to reach an error rate of just one error per trillion operations. That's a massive gap. This fragility is why we aren't using quantum computers for everyday tasks yet. Companies are tackling this through quantum error correction using thousands of physical qubits to create a single stable logical qubit. Microsoft, Google, and Amazon are all focused on this approach with their latest chips. But this redundancy requires enormous resources, which is why quantum computers are still primarily research tools rather than practical machines. Quantum cybersecurity, the coming storm. 2025 is a pivotal year for quantum computing especially in cybersecurity. Industry experts predict that quantum preparedness will become the number one boardroom cybersecurity topics year. Why? Because quantum computers could eventually break most encryption we use today. There's even a term for the threat. Harvest now, decrypt later. Hackers could steal encrypted data today and wait for quantum computers to become powerful enough to decrypt it. This isn't a Y2K style false alarm. It's why organizations are rushing to implement post-quantum cryptography, PQC standards that NIST finalized in 2024. Some experts predict Q-Day, 
when quantum computers can break current encryption could arrive within the next decade. Others say we still have more time. Either way, the cybersecurity industry is preparing now. AI and quantum, the perfect pair. One fascinating development is how AI and quantum computing are working together. AI is accelerating quantum research, while quantum computing could eventually power more advanced AI algorithms. This creates a powerful feedback loop. Researchers are using AI to design better quantum algorithms and help address the error correction challenge. Meanwhile, quantum-inspired algorithms are already improving classical computing approaches. Bill Wasatsky from SAS predicts that 2025 will see significant advancements in quantum machine learning, optimization, and chemistry applications. This partnership between quantum and AI could unlock unprecedented solutions across science and industry. The job impact question. Many of you are probably wondering, will quantum computing take my job? The answer isn't simple. Like any major technological shift, quantum computing will change the job landscape, but not overnight and not across all sectors. Some roles will evolve or decrease. Traditional cryptography specialists, certain types of data analysis positions, some high-performance computing jobs, but many more opportunities will emerge. Quantum software developers, quantum hardware engineers, quantum algorithm designers, quantum security specialists, interdisciplinary researchers. The key is preparation. If you work in tech or cybersecurity, now is the time to learn about quantum principles and consider how they might affect your field. Practical reality check. Despite all the excitement, let's be clear. Quantum computers won't replace your laptop or gaming PC. They're specialized tools designed for specific types of problems. They work alongside classical computers, which control the quantum system and interpret results. You won't be running Netflix on a quantum computer. Your Roku works perfectly fine for that. Quantum systems excel at specific tasks like complex simulations, optimization problems, breaking certain types of encryption, drug discovery modeling. For everyday computing needs, classical computers remain the practical solution. Conclusion, the quantum decade. After Nvidia's quantum day, we're witnessing the early stages of what might be called the quantum decade. 2025 represents a turning point. Major tech companies are making serious investments. Practical quantum applications are beginning to emerge. Cybersecurity teams are preparing for the post-quantum era. Education and workforce development are ramping up. If you attended or followed NVIDIA's Quantum Day, let us know in the comments what announcement excited you most. And if you have questions about quantum computing and how it might affect your career, drop them below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more tech insights.